Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you guys some products that I regret buying. Now these don't necessarily mean that these products are bad, it just means that they just didn't work for me, whether it's the color or formula. A lot of these products, I know a lot of other people really like them and rave about them, however they just didn't work out for me. So I wanted to go ahead and share them with you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys are ready to see what products I regret buying, then just go ahead and keep watching. I wanted to start off with this one, which is the City Color B Matte Lipstick in the color Taupe. Now, this color is really pretty, and um, I like the color and everything. It's just that I just don't reach for it very often. This is a really pretty color, and maybe I should wear it more often. It's just that I just don't grab for it. So I kind of just regret buying this. I feel like I kind of just bought it on the whim. <laughs> Um, impulsive buyer here, yes. Okay, so these next two lipsticks, I was so disappointed by them. Do you guys remember when the Milani Matte lipsticks came out? They were like so hyped up. I was so excited to try them out and when I got them, you guys, they look so bad on my lips. Like I will show you guys how bad they look. And I kept hearing everybody say, you know, they're such great lipsticks and they're so pretty and all that stuff. And I gave them so many tries. Like, I would keep wearing them and it would just be disgusting. Like, oh my god. So this one is Matte Innocence. And look how sheer it is. Like, this does not look like a matte lipstick to me. It looks like, I don't know, a cream or something. But it does not look matte. And... It's kind of like oily feeling on your lips and it really slippery and that's not what a matte lipstick should feel like so this lipstick was just a fail for me and I, I've tried so many times to try to make them work and they just didn't and this one is called matte naked I was mostly excited for this one because it's such a beautiful nude but again like I don't know. It just did not work on my lips. This next Milani lipstick is from their regular line, which I definitely like their regular line a lot better. However, I just don't reach for this lipstick very often. This one is called Teddy Bear. I feel like this one is just a little bit too brown for my skin tone, and I don't really like brown lipsticks on my lips. Um, anyways, this one is just a lot more brown, and I just don't reach for it very often, so I do kind of regret buying this one. This one, again, was bought on a whim. I just saw it and picked it up. And yeah, I just never really reached for it. So there's that one. These next lipsticks that I'm going to talk about are the Gerard Cosmetics one. I remember when these were so hyped up, guys. Like, hyped up to the freaking max. Everybody on Instagram was talking about them. And... I don't know, I just was kind of disappointed by them. The packaging is really cheap. It, it looks super pretty, but it's basically like literally plastic. Aside from the packaging, I really don't like the smell of these lipsticks either. They smell like toy makeup, if you know what I'm talking about. Like toy makeup that you used to play with as a little kid. This is what they smell like, and I hate it. Also, the formula is really honestly not that great. I do not reach for these lipsticks ever anymore. This one is Kimchi Doll. These colors are very pretty. Do not get me wrong, I love the colors. Another thing is when you apply these, they go down. Like they start to roll down. Like let me show you. Do you see that? Like I'm not even pushing hard and it like went all the way down. I just don't see how you're supposed to use these lipsticks. Like they are literally like they don't work. This one is called Nude. This one is also a really pretty color but again like the packaging sucks. The formula sucks. Everything just literally sucks about it. I was so disappointed with these. This one is oh my god. The lipstick just flew out. Oh my god. Okay, let me just pick this up really quick. Yeah, let me just stick this back in here. Okay. Do you guys see why I don't like these? <laughs> this one is called 1995, and this one was one of their most popular lipsticks because it was a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. She no longer um, associates herself with this brand, if you guys don't know, but 
yeah this was a really popular color i used to use this a lot when i first got it until it freaking broke like i was just using it and it broke like i don't know if you guys can see but the lipstick actually comes out i tried to freeze it back together like melt it and then put it in the freezer so that it'll go back into its form and it didn't work I don't even know what to say about these lipsticks. I really don't understand people who rave about them. Like, I don't know what they're receiving, but what I received was literally not good. These next ones are something that I'm really sad to be saying that I don't like, and they are the NYX Liquid Suede Lippies. I wanted to love these so much just because they're so pretty. They're the colors are really nice, and I love NYX as a brand, um, but I just don't like the formula of these. I feel like they're really liquidy, like, I don't know how to explain it, like kind of oily feeling, not even liquidy like ColourPop liquid lipstick liquidy, it's more like liquidy and oily feeling, and I don't like that kind of feeling on my lips. Another problem that I have with these is that they sting my lips. Like when I put them on, it stings. Like, I don't know, it's such a weird feeling. And I asked my friends like, does this happen to you guys? Cause it happens to me with every single color that I've tried. And they're like, no, like it's fine. And I'm like, okay, so maybe it's just me. Maybe it's something in the formula that just doesn't really react well with my lips, but I really just don't like these. The next product that I have to talk about is a Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick. I bought this when I went to iMats this year and this is in the color Buffy. The Lime Crime formula is not something that I love, but it's not something that I hate either. It's just very, very liquidy and very drying. The only thing I just didn't like about this was the color. This color just really doesn't match me. It's really pretty when I swatch it, but when I put it on my lips, like it just does not look cute. It looks really pretty on other people and on their Instagram and stuff like that, but when I put it on my lips, it just doesn't match my skin tone. I don't know, but yeah, I really wanted to love this, but I just don't. This next thing that I want to talk about is the Wet n Wild H2O Proof liquid liner. This I bought when I was on the hunt for a waterproof liquid liner and I saw this so I wanted to give it a try. Now I really like the packaging. It's just like normal, you know, liquid liner packaging. I really like the felt tip. I like that it's short and it's easy to use. The problem that I had with this was that every time that I put it on, it would literally transfer right here at the inner corner only at the inner corner which is so weird and bizarre like every time I would wear it and I would go to work it would transfer like right here and I would have this really dark inner corner and it was disgusting it didn't transfer anywhere else it was only right here so I just thought it was really weird I was just like what is wrong with my eyes or like you know with this product formula is really um, dark and opaque which I like like do you see that look how black it is this is why I was so disappointed with this because it's so black and I wanted it to work but it really just didn't on my eyes and that's totally fine because um, there's other liquid liners out there that are really good um, from the drugstore. So Okay, so there are some things on my list that I wanted to share with you guys but these are things that I've thrown out because I just never used them and I just didn't like them. The first ones were the NYX Butter Lipsticks. Now I know that a lot of people do like them and I wanted to like them as well. I had two colors. It was like a light pink and a light peachy color. That might have been the reason why I didn't like them because the light colors are a lot more sheer and kind of go in the lines of your lips. But I really didn't like them. They were super sheer and they like would emphasize all the cracks and like dryness on my lips and it was disgusting. Oh my god, I have to tell you about this. The LA Girl Matte Liquid Lipstick in Dreamy. You guys. I don't know why people say they like these lipsticks. I hated them. I got the one in Dreamy and I put it on and it was so freaking sticky. I don't know how people even wear these. It was disgusting and I threw it away. Another product that I wanted to talk to you guys about but I had thrown away already was the NYX blush in taupe. If you guys don't know, this blush is super hyped up 
for contouring and it's like a grayish toned color that you use for contouring. So since everyone was talking about it and of course I wanted to jump on the bandwagon because it was so hyped up and I was like oh my god you know I tried it and it literally made my freaking contour look so ashy like there was dirt on my face. And girl it was not cute I think I tried it a few times and I was like okay this is definitely not working for me I really don't know how it works for other people just because it's so gray and ashy I just I don't know because a lot of people love it and I wanted to love it as well but it just didn't work so that is it for the products that I regret buying I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. If you guys like these products, please let me know how you guys use them or you know your experience with it. Maybe if I use it a different way, it'll work out. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end and I will see you guys in my next video.